Why am I standing here wearing a Mimic's head? And what is that sound? Stay tuned to find out. Mr. G plays Rat Souls. Cheese Souls episode 17, Rat Soul Farming and Life Lessons. Hey everybody, it's Mr. G, the 11th nicest guy on the internet. Today I'd like to show you how to farm humanity in the depths. And I'd like to show you a horrible, horrible mistake I made while farming for said humanity in the depths. This will be both a tutorial and a cautionary tale. Okay, Depths Humanity Farming 101. Go to the depths. One, kill this guy. Two, turn right down the stairs, down the hall. Three, turn right and kill all these rats, however you wish. Four, now turn back down the hallway to the left. Watch out for the surprise rat in the box. I shot it here so that I didn't have to deal with it. Five, turn left. Sneaky rat will back over the ledge and down at the bottom of the stairs, trapped by a gate, is another rat family. Collect their souls. Six. Okay, turn around and go in the small tunnel and make an immediate right. Whatever you do, don't go past the fire. Stop. Shoot the rat and don't try to go over that little rushing water thing. You will regret it. Okay. Seven. Turn right. Go to the end. Turn right again and you're going to go straight until you come onto three giant rats just sitting around. Shoot them for souls. Search carefully after you shoot them. They're big, and so if there's a humanity in them, you actually can't easily see it. For example, this third rat right here, I didn't notice it until I got up real close. You can see just a little bit of a glow in the back end of his body, and it was kind of tricky to get him, yeah. Anyway, I had to move around until I could find a spot where I could get it without knocking him over the edge. So don't do that. Eight, in the dark corner is another sneaky little rat. Collect his souls. Nine, the first doorway on your right, turn right. If the rat you killed over the rushing water left a soul, collect it now. If not, hang an immediate left and kill this other rat. Do not follow this rat around the corner, especially if you have a sword and you're getting in close. Um, there's a long, long fall. Just don't even go down that hallway. All right, and now we're just gonna head back out the way we came. Uh, this way, we're gonna hook a left. We're gonna turn right back up the stairs. The left, and we're back where we started at. Rinse and repeat. So there's your basic rat humanity run. To make your collection more effective, there are a few things you can use to make your process easier and faster. It helps if you understand soft humanity. Soft humanity is the number you have up here in the upper left hand corner. Every time you use or consume humanity or twin humanity, this number will increase. So you just go into your inventory, you go to your humanity and use and then you'll see that number go up. You wanna bring your soft humanity up to at least 10. This will increase your discovery rate for items. The highest discovery rate number is 410, so you're gonna do whatever you can to get it to that number. You may also notice that I have a mimic head, also called the symbol of avarice. You can get these rare items by killing mimics. Um, you can search for tutorial. Um, it'll be easier to collect one of these if you have your soft humanity higher. You can also wear a um, silver ring, a uh, serpent's ring of covetousness, uh, and that will also up your odds of getting rare drops. So, um, yeah, I guess we can call this greed souls. Uh, the more you have, the more you'll get. Okay, and that leads us to our uh, final cautionary tale. When you get greedy or lazy or just aren't paying attention, Dark Souls has a way of punishing you. In the depths, there are some holes you can fall down. Uh, so anyway, back to the beginning. Here is where we started. I freaking forgot about this hole in the ground, and in my lust for humanity and rat souls, I rounded this corner on my last playthrough and fell to the bottom. And I was instantly cursed by the basilisk that was there waiting for me. There was, I think, three of them and you die super fast. I didn't have on any cursed protection clothing and uh, I had a stack of humanity and souls that I had gathered um, and I wanted to get it back. So I came back 
I armored up specifically to protect myself from curses. I had a curse protection ring. I, um, I did everything I could. And I also had a homeward bone equipped. So I was literally gonna drop down, grab it and run. But um, I ended up killing, uh, well, let's just see. Here's, here's how that turned out. Could have turned out badly, but because I had so much curse protection on, and uh, I was, yeah, I was being a lot more cautious. I didn't. I went here on my terms, not on lazy Dark Soul terms. And I left with my souls and my humanity, and that that felt good. Best use of a homeward bone, for sure. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, I put links to a lot of tutorials that you might need to find other items in the video that I didn't cover in the video tutorial, like the symbol of avarice or the gold ring of covetousness. And um, I hope you find that useful and uh, have fun uh, in your journey through the souls of darkness. This is Mr. G. Peace.